you are learning Power BI, then this is the series for you. Start from video one to learn all the basic concepts of Power BI. This particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around DEX, around Power Query, so that you can enhance your skills in Power BI. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one power query function that is times. Now let's look at the function times. what it does it takes a start date time then it takes the number of counts means the number of time that need to be produ uh, produced date time need to be produced and a duration which is going to be difference between one date time to another date time. So basically I can generate a date, uh, start from a date and can generate, keep on generating the new dates with let's say difference of 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 24 hours and so on. Okay. So that is the basic purpose of this function. And uh, so let's go ahead and try this out and see what kind of things it can generate and how can we use it. So let's go ahead and uh, go to this one uh, Power BI and in Power BI under the home tab, transform data transform data to go to power query and in power query once we reach there we need to click on new source blank query once we get the blank query right click or rename double click or rename let's call it date time list and now let's try to create a date time list so right click advanced editor or under the home tab advanced editor and what we know is list dot date time date times then what it need is a uh, start date time so we'll say hash date time 2022 hyphen 01 hyphen so, comma 01 comma 01 comma 0 a time of 000, zero, zero. then let's generate let's generate a day 24 hours let's try to generate and what we want to generate is a step step is has duration duration we need one one hour We have actually made it one one day let's make it one one hour so first one is day second one is hour and you can see it can generate the dates also okay so if you give one one day it's going to generate the dates now date time if you need date time with only dates then give duration one day now i can generate now one one hour and you can see we got 12 a.m and from there 24 rows till 11 a.m let's say what i want difference of 10 10 minutes or 15 15 minutes i instead of hours I go here and give 15. So I give 12, let me give 15. So 15, 15 minute difference. Now, but if I want 15, 15 minute difference for the entire day, so one day will have uh, 24 hours and every hours will have four of such intervals. So we need a long, long list here. So we got 96 such things. And think about like if I need it for an year, so 365 star 24 into 15 now you will get large much bigger data you can see. okay so in this manner you can get it now what happens is if i want to give a between start date time and end date time something like that i want so let's go to the advanced editor under the home tab advanced editor of this one make sure that you have you have selected this one and then you go and i move it little bit below and I say start date time I take one variable and I just simply copy this and instead of this I take I put a comma here and I can take anything from the previous step as long as that matches matches the data type so I take here uh, the start date time now let's say if I have an end date time also and let me keep it uh, really small right now let me keep only one day now 
now this challenge here is to use it the second one is not the difference not the uh, difference uh, it is basically a uh, duration number of steps count we need so what I need to do here is I need that count to be generated let's say I need 15 minute difference or whatever so let's generate that and let me call it underscore count so I need duration and difference would be duration dot now I know I'm going to take in days but you can have duration date minutes seconds and all those you can take in that but I'm taking here in duration dot days you can always take it a different one so let's take it start and date time minus start date time comma this one so if it is a one day difference and then I want to generate means this is going to give me days so I don't need 365 then I need 24 is star 4 okay and then I can replace this with the count but what would happen this duration would be uh, let's try this out and then let's see so it's, it's, almost, it's not going to consider the second date it will end at the first day and that's in this one at least we want it to end that before that but if you don't want then we can add a plus one so it will go till the second date so now you see it's a 15 15 minute now fine so in this manner you can get a list so go ahead and try this out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you